Hello everyone and welcome to another GameMate Information Station video. We're the kind that truly enjoys a good town builder game. Same City, City Skylines, Anno 1800 are just a few of the titles we enjoyed once before. Now Crate Entertainment is taking a crack at this genre with Farthest Frontier. Farthest Frontier is a town builder developed by Crate Entertainment wherein you lead your villagers as you journey into an unknown land to build a new home. Hunt, farm, and fish to survive and craft items to barter for your village to prosper. Despite being an early access, Farthest Frontier is on the right track to becoming one of the best town builders, with its true-to-life farming and hunting practices, resource gathering, and structure building that are authentic to the time period. Create Entertainment did a wonderful job with a game that may appear tedious at first glance. The game truly immerses players as it adds a level of realistic obstacles people would encounter when running a town. Food shortages, unpredictable weather conditions, and even the occasional animal attack kept us on our toes, especially in the early days of our settlement. Right at the start of the game, players get to choose the level of difficulty. Our experience went smoothly as the level of difficulty gave us a better chance of survival, though it still took us a while to get used to the game. We'll talk more about that later. We were greeted with stunning visuals and highly detailed terrain. It gets even better as you see members of your old community go about their tasks to help the settlement. There's something therapeutic about such games, and we thoroughly enjoyed our experience in the first few hours of playing. Delegating tasks and seeing the community come together was quite a testament to what can be achieved if people come together. Granted, they're under good leadership. We do have to admit that overseeing the whole thing got a bit frantic as supplies began to run out and the seasons began to change. But in hindsight, it further emphasizes the level of realism Crit Entertainment put into the game which we truly appreciate. As much as we enjoyed the game, we experienced several bugs as we built our community. We encountered sudden lags that halted our gameplay for a while. Luckily, it was more of a minor nuisance that didn't stain our experience too badly. Plus, the developers even gave us a bit of a warning at the beginning. Hopefully, Create Entertainment will work out the kinks for the official release to make the gaming experience smoother. Now, the game may appear simple, but it's really not. Farthest Frontier initially started slow, but the game suddenly shifted gears and went full throttle. We thought that we were still in the tutorial section, but then the game rarely held our hands throughout the process, which resulted in the downfall of two settlements. It was depressing. But as the saying goes, the third time's a charm, and we had a better time. Building a third village was a lot smoother, and at that point we can say that there's a lot of potential with the game. Despite the blunders we've experienced playing Farthest Frontier, we can see how much it can offer gamers of varying levels. We personally hope that we will get to see a full release once Great Entertainment has fleshed out its problems. Have you built your own town in Farthest Frontier? What's your favorite city builder and what other games do you want us to cover? Sounds off in the comments below. Till then, this is Gamebit Information Station, signing off.